Hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome once again to Monday Night Twitch. Hi, I'm your host, Mike the Wandering Took, and joining me tonight, as always, my friend, my co-host, Daniel, Mr. Big Foam Loaf himself. Hi, sir. Oh, my. It is me, myself. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm excited. Scenario four. We're still alive. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You're always more surprised by that than I am. <laughs> Sorry, you're still alive. <laughs> wow. Hurtful. <laughs> I do. I, you know, it's true. I often seem like I try to get myself killed every scenario. It's funny because I keep finding myself in these situations where I will unexpectedly take three damage, three horror plus in a given round just because things go south fast. And that's uh, apparently you like riding that wire. I didn't know there was another way to play this game. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <clears throat> indeed, indeed. Heroes live dangerously, Mike. <laughs> you know what the definition of a hero is? Someone who gets a lot of people killed. <laughs> uh, well, that's true in this game. So All what right. are we up to? What's happening? Well, we can't talk about that yet. Because oh. we have to talk about the end of the last scenario. Would you believe it? We were back home. We were done our foray into mexico and then this cult had to show up and go steal the relic of ages Ugh. and it looks like we're going our way back to mexico oh i don't remember enjoying my time there last time but well here we go snakes poison you know all that anyways before we yeah. go anywhere we get to purchase some more supplies we have nine supply points that seems like a lot. It's a lot because that's how the return to version works. You get far less experience in Threads of Fate than you used to, but you get a chance to get a lot more supplies out of the deal. Understood. Okay. So, a couple things of note. Mm -hmm. uh, the magic number is two. From here on out, there will have two chances to eat food, two chances to cure ourselves of poison, two chances okay. to use gasoline, unless otherwise specified there might be other effects that let you use things for things i don't actually remember sure and then we have so those are the uh, we have the provisions on the bottom those three in the bottom mm -hmm. yep and then on the top are the other things we can get and they're all worth two points the blanket for warmth at night the pocket knife easily concealed the pickaxe for breaking apart rocky surfaces and the chalk for writing on rough stone surfaces all right. So, given that we have nine, yep. my thought was, I'm going to load up on more medicine, I'm going to load up on some provisions, get some gasoline, get some chalk, and I still have two left over for a pickaxe wow. or a pocket knife. Oh, yeah. Right. Nine's a lot. Well, I, I refuse to ever get a blanket, so that's not happening. As Scott said on the message board, don't take the blanket, tank it. Yep. No blanket, just tank it. Those are his words. Yep. All right. Well, I know what I'm getting if you want to start writing things down. No, you're going to take the cards. I don't oh, write this so down. Sorry. Okay, okay. All right. Just to go along with my canteen, Mike, I would like to have my own medicine. All right. I need a food. Okay. Okay, so that's three points there. I want a pocket knife. You're grabbing a pocket knife, okay. And a pickaxe. And you're grabbing a pickaxe. That is a total of seven, correct? Correct. Then I would like two more food. Do I just double up my own card here? or what? Uh, do I, you don't do need you... two more food. You need one more food. Well, then I have a leftover thing. Oh, I guess I can get gas then. Gas is good. I'll get gas and one more food. All right. So you can just copy I'll, in, copy that card. I'll just put a supply on it. No, we're gonna we're gonna copy and paste your card. Okay. Because that's how I'm gonna keep track of things. Yes, honey. All right. Well. What do you want? Well, I'm grabbing chalk. I might grab. Oh, I don't even actually remember what the pocket knife's for. I seem to recall this this snake doing something bad to you unless you had a pocket knife. Uh, but I don't well, I'm really that sad is. that we can't take the useless uh, amulet. 
Oh, I know. There's a few things we can't take. We can't take the map. Like you'll notice the torches aren't in the list. No. We'll definitely yeah. grab those chalks, right? Definitely grabbing the chalk. Because I like okay. the chalk. Uh, I think... Oh, got to take off these auto snap. Oh, it's off. Uh, so I need to take... Is it going to be the pickaxe or is it going to be the pocket knife? I think it's going to be the pocket knife. Just, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Okay. No, no, pickaxe. And, oh. and that seals my fate. Right there, everybody, you saw it. Did you spend all nine? I spent all nine. So, uh, whoa, hello. Two on provisions. Two on medicine. Two on pickaxe. Two on chalk is eight. And then my last one was for gasoline. All right. Excellent work. Tried my Oof. best. No, you did great. Well, something about a boundary. Did I just lose something? Your mind. I think I might have. Sure. Okay. Well, uh, Daniel, is it... Yeah. it is time. Why don't you give us a story yeah. about the, the Boundary Beyond? I would love to. Is there anything from our campaign log we need to mention before? Uh... Before I do this? Nothing yet, because that's going to happen while you're reading it. But I will point out one thing. Please. Hey, Rowan, if you're listening, hope you get better soon. Yeah. Heal up. Okay. All right. Scenario four. The boundary beyond. Rays of hot yellow sunlight beat down on you from above as your car speeds down the dusty highways of southern Texas, just outside of San Antonio. It has been several days since you hit the road from Arkham on your way to Mexico City, where you may be able to get answers from some of Alejandro's associates, or even better, from his adversaries in academia. Your recent investigations in Arkham uncovered much, but despite all the knowledge you laid bare, the trail went cold soon after. The Brotherhood that you exposed in Arkham has all but vanished from the city. Its members left behind little information as to their next objection, objective, other than the name the Nexus of Nakai a place of power that Ichitaka believes is the Brotherhood's ultimate destination. Enigmatic as ever, the Etsley warrior sits in the passenger seat next to you. She is tense and coiled like a spring, the Ford's leather seat offering her little comfort. Mike, I need to check the campaign log. Did we forge a bond with Ichitaka? Uh, no, we did not. Is she in the dark? She is in the dark. Ichitaka is quiet and pensive for the majority of your journey. Your questions are met with a wall of silence and a steely glare. Whatever she has planned, you're being left in the dark. Each investigator begins this scenario with two fewer cards. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, that's hurtful. It's a good thing All I right. don't have like eight assets I want to get out. Yeah, right. Um, Mike, I need to check the campaign log. Mm -hmm. Did we find the missing relic? Uh, no, the relic is missing. It is, okay. All right. The loss of the Edsley relic weighs heavily on your mind. Clearly, its value is more than simply academic. It holds a power within it that you cannot yet begin to fathom. You are certain that the shadowy brotherhood is behind its disappearance, but for what purpose? Mike, please remove the relic of ages for stalling the future from the game. And into the garbage can it goes. Okay. Did we rescue Alejandro? We did rescue Alejandro. Okay. Throughout your journey, Alejandro scribbles endlessly in his journal, the sound of pencils scratching against paper a constant reminder of his presence. He remains huddled in the back seat of the car, his knees keeping the journal still, his brows furrowed in thought. This brotherhood is the least of our concerns, he says with an air of finality. I've been trying to decrypt the glyphs the device bears. The symbols are clearly not Aztec, nor Mayan, nor are they from any other Mesoamerican civilization for that matter. I believe there is some other place the relic belongs, somewhere it was taken from. Wouldn't you agree, Miss Ishtaka? Ishtaka's already grim expression grows darker, her eyes narrowing. She doesn't bother to turn around in her seat before addressing Alejandro. It belongs somewhere meddlesome scholars cannot abuse its power, she replies in a cold tone, and that is the end of the discussion. Crossing the border into Mexico is a less stressful endeavor than you imagine it to be due to Alejandro's connections. You are waved through customs with nary a stray glance, and soon enough, you're on your way to Mexico City. Mike, we start with two extra dollars. Oh, do you know what we can do with that? 
pay buy for those cards we don't have. <laughs> pay for those three cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mike, we didn't check our supplies. Any one investigator must cross off one gasoline. So my gasoline vanished into thin air. So let's just say I did that. Okay. It literally it did. Work. It actually did. That's awesome. Yeah. After arriving in Mexico City, you're disheartened to find very little information regarding the Brotherhood or the Nexus. You peruse the archives of the city's libraries and universities, but come up empty-handed. You can't find any of Alejandro's former colleagues in the city, and even his enemies refuse to speak to you, save for one. A woman named Padma Amrita, who studied Alejandro's work before he came to Arkham. She agrees to meet you at a trendy lounge Pop in the southern ready. part of the city, late at night. Ishtaka remains a short distance away, observing your new informant silently. Padma knows a lot about Alejandro's research, and even claims to have heard of the Nexus in Nakai, though she refuses to tell you how to find it. It's a fool's errand, she tells you. There's nothing to find, just a myth. Trust me, many have searched for it. None have found it. You point out that the Etsley people were not a myth, and she responds with a charming smile. Perhaps not. But all this about the Etsley still being alive, undiscovered for centuries? She laughs heartily. Bushwa, pure and simple. Come now, you don't expect real scholars to believe that, do you? Your eyes are drawn to Ichtaka, who is overhearing the conversation with crossed arms, her nails dug into her forearms. Padma's eyes wander over as well, the hint of a smirk on her lips. In any event, I apologize, but I don't have any information for you. Only a sap would continue this research any further. Good day. Padma leaves with another alluring smile, a sweet scent trailing behind her as she departs. Once she's out of sight, Ichtaka sits down next to you, and you discuss the next move. After a week of failure after failure, she's grown impatient. You offer a few more suggestions regarding whom you can speak to next, but her mind is elsewhere. When you return to your hotel, she immediately retreats to her room to make re preparations for tomorrow. You decide to settle in for the night, and before long, your mind is meandering hazily into a dreamless slumber. In the far recesses of your awareness, however, you can hear Ishtaka reciting a cryptic incantation. Walk us through setup, Mike. All right. So the return to adds a bit more flavor to it. There are now two copies of every location, and you randomly choose one, which means, as per return to, uh, I guess, flavor, half of these are going to be good, half of these are going to be bad. Maybe we drew all the bad ones. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, so locations are going to come into play replacing other locations. And when they do, you just plop it right over top. You don't move the other location. Your location moves to you. So you have okay. not, quote, moved to a location. All the original tokens and stuff, whatever's there, is still there. Okay. Likewise, when a, when a location disappears and there's a location underneath it, you are now at the location that's underneath. I wonder why you're talking about all this disappearing location stuff. Yeah, me too. Seems very, seems very strange. Very strange. And also we have an exploration mm. deck, probably full of locations. Oof, okay. And uh, something else I'll point out. It told me to put the Harbinger of Luja out. So we're probably oh. going to see that at some point. It is sitting at 12 of 20 hit points. But its evade value is now at 2. It's got a fight of 4 or evade of 2. because of It's how taken 12 or it has 12 remaining? It has taken 12. So at this rate, it's mincemeat and we have 5 vengeance. But it is now easier to evade. So okay. we'll see. I'm, we do have our, you know, three cards and one mulligan to deal with. Maybe I'll draw into a blur. That would be nice. Oh, okay. At any rate, let us uh, let me read you the agenda and act. Okay. The boundary broken. Ishtaka is already oh. up and about when you awaken, donning her traditional armor, her bow on her back, and a long blade at her side. Something is wrong, she states cryptically. I only meant to peer through the boundary. Her eyes are bloodshot, her face pale as a ghost. You suspect she hasn't slept all night. It matters not. It is time you witness the fate that will befall humanity if we fail. Yikes. Eight, Dune. Act 1A, Crossing the Threshold. As you depart the hotel, you realize that the landscape of the city has been altered. Silver lightning crackles in the sky overhead, and the earth rumbles deep below your feet. Monstrous, polypus entities float just below the clouds. What is going on? You yell to Ichitaka over the whistling wind. What is this place? One future, she replies enigmatically. 
Mm. Objective after the first. Oh my goodness. Daniel, please pronounce that properly. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. It is Tenochtitlan. After the first Tenochtitlan location enters play by exploring. Or Tenochtitlan, sorry. Emphasis on the A. Tenochtitlan. Okay. There you go. Location enters play by exploring successfully. Advance. Okay. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Uh, I don't see anything else on here. It's interesting, Mike, that these location cards say present day on them. They do. So the other thing, let's start our opening hands first, and then we'll all get to okay. where we are at. Okay. I'm going to give another shuffle. And draw three. Oh, I did draw a divination and uncage the soul. I don't need the uncage the soul because I'm rich. I do need my pieces. Did not draw my pieces. Okay. Wowzers. <clears throat> uh, I can't call my hand great. <laughs> Me neither. I don't think you can call any three card hand great. Oh boy. Now, Daniel, you this may is... notice that we're not exactly the same location. Yeah, what's up with that? We get to choose. I get nervous. Each of us gets to choose which location we start at. There's Zacalo. Anywhere in Mexico City. Okay. Or Koyasan. Only one of these two. And we can each start in different places? Yeah, if we want to. Okay. Um, Why don't we just start where you put us? Sure. Sounds good. Okay. Go ahead and read us uh, Koyakan. Okay, Koyakan. Although not always a part of Mexico City, Koyakan has always been a historic area, marked by narrow cobblestone streets and plazas. The ground shakes as you walk down one of the village's many confined paths, and you suspect there is more that lives below the surface. Mm hmm I can take a damage or a horror to explore, drawing the top card of the exploration deck. If it is a location with a matching location symbol in the upper left corner, place it on top of this location, taking its place. Uh, Mike, is this the... There it is, okay. Yes. Have you shuffled it? I have. Okay. Let me tell you about Zocalo. The main square in central Mexico City, once the ceremonial center of Tenochtitlan, stretches before you. Silver lightning flashes in the storm clouds overhead, and you are shocked. Shocked, Mike, to find a tide of blood swelling over the plaza. The entire city is bizarrely devoid of any life. I feel like that's bad. I can discard cards with a total combined cost of at least five to explore here. Hmm. Well, Mike, that's not great. It's not. And uh, I don't think I'm doing a whole lot except maybe putting out this and then drawing cards. I feel I'm going to be kind of right there with you. So let's just do it, shall we? Go ahead. Five charges. Draw one. Draw one. Oh my god. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> yeah, I will draw one. A medical student who's not needed right now. I'll draw another one. All right, a spectral razor. That's okay. Um, Mike, I'm going to draw another one. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to spend draw three cards next turn. Because I, I got to get set up. Okay. And you know what this scenario is known for? <laughs> Giving you time. <laughs> right. Um. All right, Mike. Uh, monster phase. No monsters, obviously. Let's go ahead and upkeep. Come on, something awesome. Okay, okay, I drew into a blur. Okay, that's something. That's very useful. Uh, we're at one doom, obviously. Here we go. All right. I have arrows from the trees. Uh, okay, this exists. I take a damage. By the that's way, it. and all your allies, do you take an additional damage for each ally asset you control? Each other investigator nice. at an ancient location must also resolve that effect. Now, what's interesting about this... This is only in the deck because we're not friends with Hitchtaka. Okay. We've replaced the cultists with some of these fun things. 
Merging timelines. Discard the top five of your deck for each card in your hand that matches one of the discarded cards by title. Discard that card from your hand and lose an action. Oh my god. You know both your shrivelings are in there, right? Unless you... Well, <laughs> this could be a thing that I deny existence. Uh, or... Deny existence? I don't think it would... would it uh, you do all the wall? effects of one at a time, or no? I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Um... Maybe it is time to just dark insight this. I mean, I'd be in favor okay. of that only because you're at your maximum hand size. Yeah, that's the only reason. <clears throat> and, you know, it gets the old will bump up. Okay. I'm going to regret that, Mike. I guarantee it. Well, of course. That's how the scheme works. Yeah. All right. That's me. Cool. I'm going to uh, blur. Okay. And I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to draw a card. Dragon pull. Okay. You know what? As of next turn, this can actually get going. Okay. Good on you. I'm glad for you. Um, now, I wonder, a talisman, a delay of the inevitable. I have $4 of cards I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Oh, well. Okay. So if we fail, we have to do this again? That's the only way to explore, right? Draw the top card of the exploration deck. Oh my goodness. How does this... Okay. Yep, that's the way it is. And this can find any play, not just Zolkalo, right? From the past? There or are... is it... No, it has to be like the one you're at. It has to be Zolkalo's past one? With a matching symbol in the upper left okay. corner. Yeah, but right. there there should be two right. in that deck that match that. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. I am going to move south into the Metropolitan Cathedral. Okay. The, the Cathedral Metropolitana, situated on the northern side of the Plaza del Constitucion, was built by conquistadors after the conquest of the Aztec Empire. Cloud wisps swirl eerily over each of the cathedral's bell towers. Okay. Here we take a horror and draw two cards. If I have six or more cards in hand, I can explore. Well, that's easier. Okay. So I imagine these are separate things and that I don't have to get horrified to do this. Correct. So I will... Do we want to start finding things or not? Uh, I... Sure. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. I'm going to draw a card first. You're going to be pitching a card at the end of the turn then, right? I will be pitching a card then. Maybe I don't do that. Your talisman's oh. fast. Yeah, it's such a weird thing. It is a weird thing. And I want money. You know? So let me draw a card and see what I'm seeing. Okay. If it's... What? Why do I have that in here? Oh. <laughs> Hey, you used it to great effect last game. I did, didn't I? Yeah, it's because it gives you plus right. three damage. All right. I will put down the talisman. And I will explore, Mike. All right. All right, so I'm going to give this a quick shuffle game, if you don't mind. Yep. Now, do I keep drawing until I get this, or I just one time? It just says draw the top card. I have found the Sacred Woods. It is not a square. Okay. So that goes back and you shuffle. That seems hard to find these things then. A little. A little. Okay. It's all right. Have you done anything yet? I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, I dug. Oh, right. Okay. Monster phase, no monsters. Let's go ahead and upkeep. Ugh. Okay. Got my fleetness pit. In this entire campaign, Mike, I have yet to draw shriveling. But you have discarded it. Yeah, yeah. I've at least seen the card. All right, what do you got? Oh, this is fine. Uh, Do I guts this? I think I guts this just to draw a card. Okay. 
Excuse me. I would say that was worth it. I have drawn Hand of the Brotherhood. Spawns it in empty. All right. Okay. While he's ready. Okay, we can't do the thing. All right, well, let's put him. Oh, so let's put him in Zocado. Why there? Just curious. Well, I'm not really going to get rid of cards from my hand, are you? Well, you can't explore now anymore. Why not? Because of words on the card. You have to read the last sentence. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, connecting. Yep. It's it's okay. your classic, you know, the last words on the card, right? Yeah. They suck. They do. Universally suck. All right. Uh, I guess it's our turn. Go ahead, Mike. Well, I just might bulk up. Like, if I did this. I mean, you want to just hit that guy with the dragon pole? And then I did this. And then I did this. Would you fault me? No. Because that's all I did. I've I spent three turns just sitting here putting my clothes on. Well, thank you. But yes, all I right, can do I'm going to I'm gonna try to find the place. Okay. Alright. Here we go. It's because you I shuffled again. Them. I had already shuffled it, and you shuffled it again. You shuffled it right back to the top. All right, I'll try one more here. At least you can keep going. Really? Mike, hang, did you just put all hang the on, sacred hang words on. there? I have to look now. They're all different. I swear they're all different. They're sweet. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. No. There's two copies of every location. It's not just the symbols are the same. They actually the location is the same. So, so you're telling me there are other cards in the sacred woods in there? Yes. In fact, uh, if I were exploring, uh, we'd already be in the second act. Well, great. <laughs> I'll try one more time here before I lose my mind. Hey, yeah. that's something different, Daniel. I that's believe the that's right where one. I am. Place it on top of this location. So, you are now uh -oh. here. You are at an ancient location, which makes things a little harder. I also take a direct damage. You do. And if you're really Ooh. weak, it gets less shroud. Well, that's nice. Okay. Take my damage. Also, we advance. Yeah. Go In ahead, the distance. Tell us the story. Light seeps through a wide crack in the ground. As you approach it, you realize the chasm is not natural at all. Below, you see the sky, as if you were peering into a reflection of the clouds above. Wisps of gray smoke emerge from the chasm, giving off a familiar, bittersweet scent. Bittersweet scent, hey? You step through and resist the urge to vomit as the world spins upside down. When you open your eyes again, you are in another place. Not somewhere, but some when. Uh -oh. The investigator who just put that location into play by exploring successfully must test for will if you Ooh. fail you must search the collection for random basic madness or injury weakness and add it to your deck okay don't fail I'm going to fail I'm down two just to start alright what kind of thing can I do here nothing really Sadly, deny existence doesn't say lose a madness. Um, all right. Only the elder sign, Mike, keeps me alive. You ready? Only the elder sign. And if you Here it is. if you deny something, will it? Uh, oh God. Okay. I don't think I can deny this. Defiance something. Well, I guess I could defy like a special symbol that's also minus two. There is the tablet, which is reveal another token. If the tablet is ignored, there's two tablets in the bag. There are well, no it doesn't tablets. matter. Even if I ignore them, I'm still down two. So I'm going to save. The oh, card I see. I see. Because it doesn't matter. So are you ready for the elder sign? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Here you go. Oh well. Well, a uh, random madness. Huh. So should I just start clicking? Yeah. Yeah, we'll let fate decide this one. So it's I it's going to be a a madness or an injury. The first that comes up, right? Well, <laughs> what's wrong with me? You have the unspeakable bloodthirst. Oh, cool! So you have to deal, I'll shuffle that in my deck. Deal damage to an enemy beyond its remaining health. Okay. Or you don't get experience. Just... Oh, that's lame. Okay. All right. Note to self: Let you find these places. Yeah. All right. Past uh, and present. Phase. Past and present. Oh gosh, there's more. Yes. Sorry. Is this real or is it a vision? Either way, the secrets of the ancients may hold the key to finding the nexus of Nakai. Objective: Find paths to the nexus by discovering all of the clues from as many different. Uh, Tenochtitlan. 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 I I think it's Tenochtitlan. Tenochtitlan. Titlan locations as you can before time runs out. If there are six Tenochtitlan locations in play with no clues on them, advance. Six. That would be the best thing. Okay. All right. I oh, we found one at turn three. That that's extremely hard to do. Sure. And it has to have no clues. So I no think, clues. I think what has to happen these locations will disappear, and they probably there's probably cards in there that say the one you're on disappears. So you probably, I think the strategy is grab clues, get off, but I don't know that for certain. There might be something else. It might well, just be pick a location, get rid of it. All right. So, uh, all right, Mike. Monster phase. <clears throat> the monster doesn't do anything, does he? He does not. Okay, we will upkeep. Shriveling, Mike. Angered spirits. Oh. I need to get rid of a card. I'm okay with angered spirits at this point. I guess I'll get rid of the talisman. You know what? I've never used delay the inevitable. I'm going to get rid of that. And now you never will now. Nope. The talisman has at least an icon I would use. I guess so does delay the inevitable. But here we go. You doomed us? I did not doom us yet. We're at three doom. Go ahead and draw your card. That is a serpent guardian. Guess what? He's with me. He's with you, but he's aloof. Instead, okay. your location gets plus two shroud. All right. I was really hoping to draw... Uh... Draw to the flame? That's the one. All right. You must either choose and shuffle an ancient location back into the exploration day deck. Or place a doom on the current agenda. Oh. Oh. If only you didn't make me discard that one card. Mike, I don't know what to do. I can't hear you. It's peril. I have placed a doom. Oh, dear God. Okay. <laughs> Not Come that... and get these clues, Mike. I'm getting the clues. I'm not killing this thing. Yeah, we don't need the thing killed. That is now a five shroud location. Yep. Six. I mean, seven. That's a big. That's a big serpent. Wow. Though we don't get, no one gets mad at us for him, killing him. No. That's interesting. Okay. Um, now to to um, to evade him, he must be, of course, engaged, right? Yeah, yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I can do it. It's just gonna take my turn to get there. Well, I think that's okay now that we know that it could go away. Yeah, but if it goes away. Even if there has no, there's no clues on it, it doesn't count. Right. It has to stay in play at the end of the game. Right. Okay. So I will do that. Okay. Well, hello. Hi. 
So How are you? I'm all right. I'm a seven on a five. I'm pitching my unexpected courage for this. A zero. I am going to pick up both clues. Did you win by zero? Uh, no, I won by four. Okay. All right, good job. Nice seeing you as I go to the temple ruins. So, FYI, I am gonna. I yep. need to dig for my spirit seeker, or I only have three more clues in me. Okay. Though the exact location of the main temple of Tenochtitlan is not yet known, excavation has begun in search of the ruins of the many temples that once covered this area. Okay. Here, oh, it's two actions to draw the top card of the exploration deck. Okay. So it's just a time thing, eh? All right. Well, Mike, I'm not going to do that because I feel like I should get shriveling down. Mainly because I don't want to keep losing cards. You have that spell in your deck? I know, right? <laughs> um, hey, Seagull Son. Hello. All right. Then what to do next? I agree. Peril is so good in this. They did a very, very good job. Oh, Mike, can I do something before I did that? Uh, sure. I meant to give you this. You Take it. Give that to me? Yep. Oh, my. Uh, I don't want it. Really? Oh, it's a, it takes a thing, doesn't it? Yeah, it takes a thing. All right. Um, don't take it, then. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to... With my last action, draw a card. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. All right. With Good. everyone's last dodge. action. Yeah. No, I, it's okay, because I wanted to dodge. Does that cancel his attack or the damage? Oh, good, it cancels uh, the attack. That's good. That's cancels good. the attack. So, yeah. Whew. What's up? Okay. No, it's monsters. Oh, great. Monsters first. I will spend a dollar to dodge this attack. Makes my will go up. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, now we can upkeep, Mike. Uh, yep. Mm. Nice. Okay, always handy. What are we at for Doom? We're at five Doom now? We're at five Doom. Okay. Okay. It's a Vengeful Serpent. Oh. I can deal with him. After you draw him, draw each other. So, oof. It's fine. And I got me a little merging time. I've seen this before. Oh. Okay. At least it's only the Each ones in, in your hand, hand yeah. right? So it won't yep. discard your shriveling when you inevitably draw that. Okay. So we have drawn Enchanted Blade. We have drawn Dodge. Oh, Good thing you I played that. that. Yeah. Holy Rosary. That's unfortunate. Hand of Fate. And terrible secret. Now, of course, that doesn't go anywhere, does it? Uh, that gets shuffled back into your deck. Okay. But uh, you don't lose any actions. I don't lose any actions, but I did lose four pretty good cards. Oh, thank you, Catherine. What happened? Daniel, you canceled what? something. Oh, I draw a card. Yeah, just, just draw another card. And I'm going to take a dollar. Okay, too. and that, that works. Yeah, take the dollar. Unspeakable Oath. Okay, I gotta watch the oh. chat, because they'll, they'll... Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to say that. It's peril. Yep, yep, I see it now. Alright. Are you feeling a little bloodthirsty? Like, maybe you want to do four damage to a Silver Twilight Acolyte? <laughs> I don't know why you ask. Alright. Hey, I don't, I don't have, have enough will spirits. to do that. Alright, so, the strategy. Okay, Tell it, walk us through it. I mean, I can take care of this guy, no problem. Because I have a giant mystical stick. Uh, speaking of, do we want to kill him? What's the point of killing him? Uh, he won't smack me. The aloof guy that you're standing on, he won't. Smack no, no, you. the Just vengeful, the vengeful spirit serpent right in front of me. Oh, I forgot you got that yeah. fellow. 
that guy I want to get rid of. Yeah. And then I'm going to move up to past you. Okay. And we can't do anything at that point. I have to kill the hand of the Brotherhood. Or, or you, someone has to at that point. So okay. either the turn after this, I'm going to kill that guy, or I'll go somewhere else is my plan. So I'm beginning to position myself and kill this thing. Okay. And let's just draw a token that will completely uh, nullify everything I just said. So I'm hitting a six on a four. All right, cool. That's all right. This is the victory display up here. Okay. I will then move because, by the way, Daniel. Hi. Did you notice that the temples have a different connection pattern than the location underneath it? I did. I saw that you yeah. had updated something, yes. Yeah, so there's the button that says update connections. That's good. Do not click the one above it, the one right above it. Well, now I'm going to. I didn't even know that button was yeah, there. Don't, don't. It's like one pixel up, and yeah. Okay. It breaks everything. So I'm going to go back here. And okay. that's my turn. All right. So I've got this guy on me. Look at him. Her. Oh, it's my friend Betty. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. I am Groot. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Using my will only puts me at uh, plus one on this thing. All right. Don't you have, so, like, will cards? Plus you have to deal uh, four damage. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Do you? <laughs> well, what I was thinking of doing was maybe just spectral raising this one. And I'll deal with some other problems later <laughs> that I might have. Sure, why not? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to spectral razor this thing. I'm up. I'm up a bit. All right, here You're we go. Uh, six, I believe. Yep. Uh, all right. So he's he's gone. That was one. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find this place. Go ahead. You're okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay. I may not jump down there if you find it. Okay. What I have found is Putlick Hill. That is not where we are dude that's tough to lose two actions for that well this one is take damage or horror the other one is discard cards that are expensive from your hand no, none of them are fun but all right okay i guess that's us monsters yeah do we have any hunters anything out there no nope. not yet not unless we have vengeance all right Upkeep. Oh! I got my spirit seeker. I got something pretty good, too. All right. Mike, we're at six doom, son. Oh, a Tindalos Alpha. Okay. Oh. Is that bad? I am totally okay with this. Okay. And I have gotten me a little Hand of the Brotherhood. We've seen him before. Let's put him somewhere you're gonna go. Are you do you actually wanna go there? Um Yeah. You're gonna discard cards for, like that? Well it has to be empty, right? There's also the one above me. We don't know what that is. We just don't know what it is. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it could be worse. I mean I was just gonna go kill the guy. You know? Yeah. Oh, I see. Well, if you're gonna, if you're just gonna go kill him, kill him up there. Okay, yeah. I'll wait a while then. All right. Mike, oh, it's us. right, because it's one away. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. you now. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, yeah, these are tough. Here's what I'm gonna do. I might go look for Koyokan. Okay. Why don't, why don't I uh, let you go first? All right. I'm a medical student. I'm not sure I care if I get hit one and one. <laughs> One. I will take one damage and one horror. You can't. There's a hand of the Brotherhood. Do you want me to go first? Oh, you, put the, you put the Brotherhood next to me. You go first. Actually, there's two Brotherhoods. So oh, yeah. this location we're never getting. 
We're never doing that unless we kill some folks. Uh, Is there a reason to keep them alive? No, I was actually going to go hunt down the one to the left this turn. All right. Then I'm going to put the one where I wanted him. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay. Go first. Go get him. Are you All right. Uh, I'll go. One. He comes and gets me, right? He tries. He tries. He tries. All right. I am going to shrivel him. I am up two, I believe, right? I think so. All right. You ready, Mike? Mm -hmm. There it is. That is one less hand of the brotherhood out here. And Hi. then... Hmm. I don't think I want to do the search. Because that's Seal the Seventh Sign leaving, man. Yeah, that's rough. That would be rough. Although, I might not play it at all. It's $4 and I'm not making a lot of money. You know? And what are the chances I find the place I'm at? Uh, Very low at the moment because all the other locations are in the deck. They've right, done but this... like, that's going to be... That's going to be true for everywhere. Yeah, and they've done this very smartly, right? Because there's always yep. going to be at least six locations you don't want. Yep, I'm doing it. Or five locations. I pitched $6 worth of cards. Okay. I'm going to give it a magic shuffle. I'm looking for a diamond, everybody. You ready, Mike? Yeah, I'm ready. There it is. Not. So twice in a row now, you've picked the location that I want because I'm going okay. there. Well, so you've just guaranteed that it's not going to happen. No, I'll shuffle because I only put the cards I don't care about on top. There you go. Don't gotcha. touch it. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to start by putting a charge on Angered Spirits. What is this guy worth? He's a two. Okay, that's good. I am now going to pay two and put out Spirit Seeker. That invokes an attack of opportunity, doesn't it? I take the um... attack. I yeah. shuffle a non-story asset I control back into my deck. And I discard to the Alpha. That was it? And that was uh, action number one. Okay. Action number two, I'm moving. Did you know that in Chapultepec, Chapultepec part... Hmm. It's one of the largest city parks in the West. The Bosque de Chapultec is a beautiful ecological landmark overlooking the city, built in what was once a sacred forest many centuries ago. After you... You're so, you're so French calling it Bosque. Yeah. Yeah, I know, hey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> After you Ooh. fail a fleetness test... Oh, yeah, because I'm, I'm taking fleetness tests. Well, here, take a damage, okay? Explore test fleetness... <laughs> <laughs> if you That's just me. The, yeah. I mean, right. I actually have the cards to do two very reliable tests. I just right. rather that that didn't happen. Sure. Last well, action. I'm going to what are you swing gonna do? and smack this hand of the Brotherhood. I'm up by three. Yeah, I like that zero symbol today. Yeah. All right. So we've we've killed some folks. We have. Okay. I am very, very disliking this test that it's having me do, but nothing else looks good. Do you have another action? No, I okay. played Spirit Seeker for my first. All right. So we are all done, right? We're all done. Monsters, no monsters. Let's go ahead and upkeep. My God, Mike. All right. For each card beneath them, it's either discard it or take a horror. I will take two horror. Could be worse. Good time. All right. Mike, we're at seven doom, my brother. Hey, look, a vengeful serpent. Hey, look, a vengeful serpent. Wow. Okay. Um, hey, look. Timeline destabilization. Oh, the test will one. Plus one for each ancient. So there is... Only one more ancient. One. So there's a two. I'm up. Only one, Mike. 
Don't fail. We actually don't want this in the deck. I'm up only one. Um, all right, I won't fail. How's that? Okay. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Yep. I'm glad tonight you only put the zero in the bag. That was handy. Yeah, very, very handy. Yeah. All right, what are we going to do? I don't have any uh, way of paying for this place anymore. Uh, let me let me see what's happening here with these guys. Sure. I'm going to attack. Uh, that's a miss. Oh. Apparently, I threw the minus five in there as well. Oh. Okay. That is a hit. That is a hit. So that's what I did this turn. I now, they do six. not get discarded, though. Correct. They, they are going to come out another day. Yep. So I'll put them just below the deck. Okay. All right. So that's you? You just swatted at snakes? Yeah. I shouldn't say just. That was really good. No, that's, All right. that's pretty much what I did. I'm thinking... I'm going to put one of these divination charges on my angered All spirits right. just to get make sure that that gets filled. I will I will head to Zochimilko. Up here. We'll see in the whole city. A small wooden boat bumps up against the side of the canal, swaying gently in the rippling water. A juniper tree sticks out of the shallow water nearby, bending in the mild breeze. Well, that sounds bucolic. All right. While you're here, you can't... Oh. Oh. I don't like that either, Mike. Dang. Now I wish I didn't get rid of my uh, alchemical right. transmutation. All right. I'm going to head down for my second action. And for my last act, Miguel, I'm going to spend two and bring out a friend who makes me feel a little bit better. That's good. Okay. She's getting credit, right? All the credit. All right, monsters, there are none, are there? Not doing anything. Upkeep. All right. All right. Mike, you have a story to tell. Do I ever. I think I know what's going to happen. Guess what? Following no telltale flash of light, a sudden explosion of thunder blasts across the sky, causing you to jump in shock. As though drawn from the sound, a streak of silver lightning crashes down from the clouds, ripping a tear in the world before you. Through this tear, a familiar creature emerges. It hisses in anger and raises its gilded spear to attack. The Harbinger ends up at the location farthest from all investigators. Okay. And it, yeah, so it enters play uh, readied, far from us, and with 12 damage on it. Okay. Uh, I am absolutely set up to evade this thing. And we, honest to God, only have five more turns to do all this? Yeah, this scenario is bloody hard. Wow. Okay. It's Taka's strength continues to wane as you journey through the strange vision. As you journey through the strange vision. You've never seen her this troubled. She's often distracted, peering about as though any moment the answer will appear before her. From time to time, she mutters strange phrases to herself. How could this have happened? The answer will be with the ancients. Someone else is here. I know it. Oof. All right. Uh, Draw your card, Mike. Is that the only one? Am I totally missing something about this scenario? What do you mean? Help me out, chat. You know there's something I'm missing about this scenario. There's a villain you... that has not appeared. How does that villain appear? What villain? Hmm. Do we get more times through this agenda? Is there really only two agendas? Oh, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Or maybe it's, yeah, something's, something's different. Just let me double check all of this. Yeah, that's all done. That's done. I feel I remember three agenda cards. But maybe I don't. I mean, it only set up with two. Okay. We'll uh, have to have a look after. 
Hmm. Okay. So now we draw bad cards. Yep. Oh. Ancient. Uh, ancient location if able. Yeah. Alert and aloof. Is it empty if there's a monster on it? Uh, no. So okay. it is going to attack everybody at an adjacent location. Even if it's aloof? Yes. Because of the forest effect. It just shoots you. That's rude, actually. A little bit. Okay. All right. My bad card is window to another time. I'm going to take a horror and spend a dollar and ward of protection that. Beautiful. If that's all right with you. That's, well, it doesn't matter, does it? I will it's take terrible. a dollar and draw a card. Drawn to the flame. Now, if only we can get another location out. God, we need to. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Seems like a fool's errand. But uh, here we go. What happens? What are you doing? I'm going to spend a whole bunch of charges. Sweet. And I'm going to go... So this is... What, what's the test on this thing? Fleetness 3. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, up by 3. Nice. I have passed this test. Oof. You're Do looking for a triangle. This is so bloody hard. <laughs> God, that's the one that we already have, too. Yeah. This is... Uh... That, that part I don't like so much. You know? Wowzers. Okay, well, um, I guess I'm going to Spirit Seeker this back to my hand. Uh, play it out again. And do I do that again? I mean, I'm wasting my best skill cards doing it. I mean, we got it, right? Yeah. You have a 2 out of 11 chance, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Ugh. I passed the test. Okay, good luck. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sacred quits. <laughs> All right. Are you done? Uh, yeah, yeah. That, uh, that's my turn. All right. That's... I'll take one of. I'll take one of each. To do this test, or to do this explore. One of each, isn't it? Only one. It's an or. Oh. Did you take both last time? I didn't do it last time. I'll just take it. You've done it before, then. though. Uh, I don't think I did this one. Okay. Um, but if I did, I took them both. All right, so here we go. You ready? I'm looking for Sacred Woods, yeah? Yep, the one I just drew. Oh, Whoa. my goodness. Okay. 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 It goes on top. Okay. Okay. So what now? We've got, after Andrew's play, each of us get at this location discards the top 10. Why am I the one finding these horrible things? Because apparently I can't search. One. Ugh. Two. Three. I don't even want to know what they are. Four. <laughs> five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. All right. That's bad. Well, that was my first act, Mike. Cool. So I'm going to, uh, what's the, what is it here? It's a four what's shroud. shroud. Four shroud. A four shroud. So if I were to read the signs, I would be three up. 
which would uh, mm. mean only two tokens in that bag could fail you. There is no minus four. There is just a minus five. What's the other token that could fail me? The auto fail. Oh. Can't defy that. You cannot defy that. All right. Mike, I'm going to read the signs. For two dollars. Okay. Uh, to reveal another token. Reveal another token. Minus four. If you fail, place a clue from the token pool on the nearest ancient location. Oh, you said that I... I would have defied the squid if you said it was in there. You said there was oh, only sorry. the other you side minus five. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot that was in there. All right. Everybody, I'm defying that because I would have done that if I knew it was in there. Sorry. Because that's the only thing that can fail me that I can actually defy, right? Right. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Apologies. So I don't... That's not even cheating. I would have done that. I mean, it's cheating, but I... Well, actually, by defying it, I actually won. So it doesn't matter. Because it adds a... Yeah. Okay. Right. And I'm sure. going to draw a card. <laughs> and gain some money and gain two clues. Yeah. Oh, I don't care at all. <laughs> If I, knew, if I knew the squid was in there, I would have defied it. Because it was the only symbol that could have lost it for me, right? Yeah. Yes, it was. Okay. All right. So that is thing two. Yeah. There is uh, there are two enemies. Uh, one. This guy's just going to shoot you. And then next turn, or this turn, the harbinger is moving to where he is. Just so you know. You know what I'm going to do what? with my last action? I'm going to move to him because he doesn't shoot me. Uh, Somewhere? no, but a harbinger will. Will you hit me two and two? Yeah, he'll hit you two and two. I have no dodge. So what I think I'm going to do is actually back up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I did I did good work here. You did good work. If we want to put an asterisk on that, I'm fine with it, but I would have defied it. You know me, Mike. <laughs> I don't cheat. I don't care what the chat is saying. What are they saying, though? Uh, Segelson says, uh, I cheated, but I won, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay. so That's right. And I'm not apologizing. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm more or less 94% honest. Yeah. Okay, so we get to choose right. where this uh, Harbinger goes. I say we send him uh, north, west. or what, like. Well, I love that we both said this different thing. All right. Well, I'm not going to get him. Why Cause... not? Because there's an archer. Oh, I see. Yeah, I suppose I could. Yeah, I... this location is now... I'm up by two for one. I can be up by three for one test. I have one more shot at this. Take it. Okay. Well, I can't yet because uh, we have to do upkeep. Oh, okay. Hello, Hallowed Mirror. Hello, Arcane Initiate. I don't have the money to put you out. Because I need to spend everything I've got on my spells. Alright, doom us up. I don't want to. Thank God Ancient Evils isn't in here, or is it? Oh my god. I actually don't know. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh. This guy has victory and vengeance. Huh. And, uh... And he's with you right now, yeah? He is with me now. I'm not... What am I? I'm a five fight, so I'm up by two. Okay. I have drawn me a little timeline D-stab. It's a will three test, right? Yes. Okay. I will be plus one on it, and that is it. Yeah. Is that okay with you? Yep, that's that's fine. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, are you at an ancient location? I don't think I am. Then you're only minus one. Cool. All right, there's that. Well, this turn... Do I you take... need me, or do you... 
Uh, I guess it depends what your plans were. I can probably take care of them. I don't know that I had a plan. Is there any way you can get any more of these locations out? Yikes, three resources. See, I'm a little... I mean, I, I'd spend all my money, and I don't think that's a good idea. What if you joined me in... Wait a second, wait a second. Okay. Let me... Let me go first. Mm-hmm. Because... <laughs> you're going to love this. I can take care of this guy, hopefully. And then, when it's gone... If you run to my location, I can give you cards to boost your fleetness. Okay. And then you'll be the person to flip it over and do have horrible things happen to you. Well, I do love that. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, you know what I could have done? No. An encounter card or enemy attack. Okay, never mind. I couldn't have denied the existence of discarding 10. Gotcha. All right. Okay, first Go things ahead, first. Take care of your fellas. I am going to evade this thing. I am a seven on a three. Oof, good. Spending a charge to get my action back. Okay. Okay. What was that? Seven on a three, so I succeeded by one. Great. Yep. I can then start smacking this with a dragon pole. And I said I was up by well now I'm up by three. Well why did you why did you evade him? Because I have to hit him three times in a row. To kill him. Oh, I see. In evading, he won't hit you back. Okay. One. Uh, up by two. Two. Two up, hits. Up by two. Oh my god, Three I hits. did it. He is going to... He is now Vengeance. Vengeance one. So, in the does something bad happen to us with Vengeance right now? I can't remember what those serpents do. Not until Vengeance three. We are currently okay. Okay. There's probably something in there that gets something bad if there's Vengeance sure. 1, but it's it's low level. Right. So then I run to you. Okay. Akachi. Hey, I have... What's going on? I have two fleetness pips if you can do this bloody test. So that puts me up two? It'll put you up two. Also, okay. if you fail this, you take a damage. Fine. Okay, you did it. Okay, so now I'm looking for... A triangle. Yes. Should I shuffle or not? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not gonna. All right, here we go. Oh my god! Hey, I okay. Found it. Minus two will. Hey. Ooh. Okay. Honestly, oh. if we get out of this scenario with two clues or with three locations, I will be happy. Dude, I've got drawn to the flame. I'll stay here. You run. Okay. Right, monster phase. The harbinger. Oh, did you need to update? He might come to us, right? Uh, he does no. not come to us. We go to him. All right, note okay. that these arrows are one way. Yep, that's why he went up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I believe we each take a damage. No. From the... Oh, it's not adjacent if it's the other he way. He is yeah. not ad adjacent to us. Oh, I have such fun ideas for him. Good. Yeah. What are we for Doom here? Two of five? Okay. Well, first we have to upkeep. That's nice. Now we're at two of five. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want me to do? I wanted that right there. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'll just I'll just deal with snakes. I'll just deal with snakes. Well, we can all do that together. Uh, my card is Arrows from the Trees. Take a damage plus an additional for each ally you control. Okay. Oh, you also have to resolve that, I'm afraid. Because we're at an ancient location? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this would be two total damage to me, right? Yes. Is it worth denying this existence? If it makes you an uber killer. Or an Uber. Makes me a little better. Makes me better. I'm going to deny the existence of that card. Which draws me one and gives me a dollar. Okay. You are now... Is there no 
limit on her will? Uh, no. Okay. Cool. Actually, I thought I... Wasn't it five under her, Max? Yeah. Oh, you look at yeah, her little five. Thing yeah, after, five. Okay. So. All right, so I have six will. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. So, Mike, you've got snakes. Do you want me to help you? Uh, let me think about this. You said you got to draw into the flame. Mm-hmm. And I am currently sitting at a four, a four on a four shroud, which isn't good. So maybe I should be the one attacking. Well, I can spectral razor one of these things. Well, I'm not doing anything at this location, like nothing. Oh, I do. You do. You do need me to get rid of that harbinger, though, don't you? Yeah, that would be bad if he was on us. Well, I won't be at this location. Here was my dream. Drawn to the flame, move, and take out the archer. Oh, but I guess I have to engage. Well, do I have to engage? Not if I spectral razor him, I don't have to engage him. So right. I was going to go shred him with a razor. I like that plan. So can I leave you here? Yes, because then what I'll do is I'll hit, hit, evade spending a charge and then move. All right. All right, so I will draw into the flame. And you know, I'm going to draw the auto fail and end up regretting that choice. Yep. In fact, All I will right, I will the... die if that happens. I will actually die. I draw to the flame a window to another time. Dude, let's freaking <laughs> doom out. <laughs> First off, it's peril, Mike. You can't tell oh, me that. Right, I can't. But Based on what you had said, <laughs> uh, I will put a doom on the main. I didn't necessarily want to draw that, uh, but I will find the two clues here. Then I will move, Mike, south to this guy shooting arrows at us. And for my last action, I will spend $2.00. And the spectral razor him, which allows me to engage him first. Draw another token. You did not okay. fail, so nothing happens. Yeah. He's dead. And I did three to him, Mike. How what were his hit points? Uh two. I would like to get rid of a certain bloodthirst. You were bloodthirsty? I was a little bloodthirsty. You probably didn't know that about me. I but didn't. The, I tell you what, being at that Twilight Lodge for a while really did a number on me. Thanks for checking, Catherine. What'd she do? What do we do? Uh, the cards underneath her. It's five. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mike, good luck. I hope to see you here. Yeah, me too. Let's uh, let's evade. Okay. Minus. That's minus three. Three. Wait, hang on, hang on. I don't have the right same will anymore, do I? I fail. No way. Yep, because I don't have willpower at this location. Your will is three. Blur gives you... One, so I'm a four. One. I was a four on a two. So I am pitching this to evade again. Does it matter? Okay, so one of these is evaded. I'm spending a charge. To get that action back. I'm going to evade the other one. I'm, I'm two up. Thank goodness. You have one action left? I see you just bring the next guy with you. No, I, I those uh, evades were free. Each time? Oh, okay. Because if, if I spend it... I hang see. On. Okay, so you've, like, you've done one action. Then. Yeah. So for action number two, I'm hitting this Vengeful Serpent. Oh, God. It attacks me, so I get hit. Ow. I... I... I die. Why? Well, with my last action, I kill him, and I get killed by a Harbinger. Or I move, taking attack of opportunity, and then he kills me in the refresh phase. 
Hold on, is there anything I can do for you? I'm dead. No! No, there must be... There must be something. And I'm taking a physical trauma, which Akachi does not like. No, there has to be something. Hold on. Think. That's fast, Think. but I can't play anything. Yeah, failing two of those tests was not in the plan. Um, All right, so you take that. God, I wish I could get my medical student to take the hit for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The talisman only works for me. Yep, I should have taken that talisman. Okay, I'm hitting were... I'm hitting the serpent. Wait, wait, wait. 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 If you evade him right now, you get an action. Oh, blur No, I don't. Gone. I'm out of pips. I can't evade him anymore. Oh. I need to level it up. Oh, Mike. Yeah. I'm killing this thing because I'm mad. Yeah, no, I'm not. This this level oh. does not like me. Okay. Okay. Uh, enemy face? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I now have a now, physical how many, trauma. Were you not hit enough to get mental trauma? You weren't, right? I was not. Okay. So all those things are still there, right? Uh, yes, they are all still there. And they they hunt. They all hunt. All four of these things hunt. Well, two of them are exhausted, so uh, now they're awake not anyway. Anymore, they're, they're awake not, anyway, yeah. yep. Okay, and the Harbinger's over there? Yeah, he's over here. Okay, okay. All right. I think you run around the map, <laughs> to be honest. Well, so you're gone. I now upkeep, right? Yeah. Another Blood Eclipse, not what I wanted. Uh, four out of five, right? Yeah. Okay, and then my bad card is... Attendus Alpha. If he attacks you, he vanishes, but he also takes something with you, with him. I think I'm okay with that. He also hits me for his damage, right? Yes. I imagine? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow, Mike. I don't think I was ready for you to go. One never is, is are they? What is it? One either goes too late or too soon? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. There's no way I'm going to get clues off of anything. Well, you know what? I don't think I've ever... I also ever, don't know what's coming, right? I have never gotten more than three locations from this. Okay, but even if I uncover a location, I don't think I'll be able to do anything with it. Ah, I see. You see what I mean? So, I think what I'm going to do, Mike, is move. The Hindaloos hits, the Tindaloos hits me, right? Uh, yes. For one and one? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take those. I'm going to shuffle the medical student back into my deck. Oh, yeah. He's gone then, right? Yes. I end up in Zocalo. Zocalo. All right. I'm going to... Well, hell, just because. Why not? Okay? If this is my last turn, I will get rid of a Blood we Eclipse think, for we one. We think. I actually have no idea what's what yeah, happens. A Rosary... An initiate. No, I might need that. Okay. A medical student, and that's five. Okay. You ready, Mike? I'm ready. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a diamond. Here we go. That is not a diamond. That is not a diamond, folks. That's unfortunate.
All right. I've done two things, right? Yeah. Okay. I will uh, uh, spend a dollar for my third action, bring in the initiate, see if she can find me some read the signs or something. She does not. So remember when I discarded 10 cards? Yeah. Yeah. All that was there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a read the signs. Yeah. Yeah. No, Monster there's, phase. There's only one. Oh, yeah, no, there's two. There's two. Okay. Yeah. Monster phase. They all move to the east. That's pretty scary. But they're, they can't go straight to you. They have to go up and around. That's cool. <laughs> um, I will upkeep. Oh, vicious blow! Great. All right. Uh, Should I read? Mike, why don't you read me a story? Oh, here we go. <laughs> the game's not over yet. The silver flashes of lightning become more frequent, and the sky starts to split open. Thunder rumbles in the distance, and you watch as the skylines of both cities, the present-day city and its ancient predecessor, are consumed in a giant stone maw. Six pillars surround the cavernous opening, each glowing vibrantly. A red hue erupts from the center of the opening, and the ground shakes with the force of an earthquake. We've seen enough. We must get out of here while we still can, Ishtaka shouts. For the first time since meeting her, you hear trembling in her voice. Uh, find each Tenno... Tenochtitlan location and play with no clues on it, add them to the victory display. That's three. That is three. So that is, uh, wait, where are they? This one, uh, this one, and this one. Uh, and then, for each present day location in play, search the exploration deck for a location with a matching location symbol and place it on top, taking its Does place. that mean all six become ancient? All six become ancient, and each investigator loses each of his or her clues. Okay. So, should I just shuffle and go? Well, they just all go out, right? But there's two of each. You're supposed to search. I don't know. Oh, are they different? Yeah. Oh, okay. The... Where is that this one? No. Nope. That one. Do you mind throwing clues on the ones that don't have clues? Uh, sure. The woods. Now you still count here, right? Oh yeah. Uh, I don't have copy power, apparently. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't make me a crown or whatever. All right. Update the connections. The heck? Okay. That was not supposed to have moved. Oh, okay. I see what happened. What just happened? Okay. <laughs> You took a temple out. It's there all was supposed good. to be a temple. There. Yeah. This should not be there. Okay. Is that? Hang on. How many? Are, do we have the right number? It should of be six. In yeah, play? we do. We do. There you go. This is where they are, and that's how they're all connected. All right. So then, Padme comes out. Yes. Okay. To the temple mayor. Alert! Retaliate! Hunter. Well, she's ready. Clues cannot be discovered from each ancient location. So you have to kill okay. her first. Okay, after she attacks you, if you have at least one clue, flip it to its doom side. Otherwise, take two horror. And she is worth victory and vengeance, by the way. Okay. We then get rid of the act and agenda. And replace it. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Oof. We get these. Time collapsing. Alejandra's former critic stands atop the steps of the main temple, her true self revealed to you. Silver streaks of lightning wind through, wind through her open arms. Coiled about her feet is an army of hissing cobras. 
Only the Chosen can find the Nexus. Only I am worthy. He has six turns. The return trip. It's Taka points to the temple in the distance, shouting over the raging storm. It was her. She is the one trapping us here. She's known it all along. One way or another, if you want to get back home, you'll have to slip through the rift Padma entered from. If she is defeated, advance. Or if investigators in the temple spend the required number of clues, you can advance. Fascinating. Okay. All right. This is very Innsmouth, hey? <laughs> yeah. Chased by the ball of death. All right. Um, this is interesting. Very interesting. Do you have killing power? Not really. If I'm being honest, I have shriveling and pretty decent. You got bloody clay. I think. Yeah, I think what I need to do is actually get down to the temple move them north because they'll be the same yeah the temple makes them actually closer to me by moving north right right then i run into her hoping to have something next turn i mean between like the it's... only chance i have is defeating her i don't have if you can shrivel her with a vicious oh a vicious blow doesn't do anything if it might with blood eclipse Because that's just a fight. Yeah, but you can't pitch Vicious Blow to it. Vicious Blow is a fist test. <sighs> so it's going to take two Shrivelings and a Blood Eclipse. It's going to take more than two Shrivelings. Yeah, because it deals two damage. She's, She's only got... got nine hit points. Oh, she does, doesn't she? Oh, boy. Yeah, you, you left me. Oh boy. So it's going to take jerk? all three shrivelings plus a blood eclipse. Okay. Well, for, well, do I need to do a bad card? Oh, first of all, this doom is gone. Oh yeah. I need to do a bad card, right? Uh, yeah, you do. When did that happen? That just happened then. Okay. Right now. So my bad card is Wrath of Yig. Will two. There is one Three. vengeance. One. Okay. So that puts me up three. Draw again. Minus four. Okay. So what happens if I fail? Uh, you just place a clue on the nearest ancient location, which is your own. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. And uh, you also gain a poisoned weakness. Okay. That's a permanent thing that sticks out, right? Yes. Okay. All right. That's okay. My friend Mike brought medicine after leaving me alone. Yeah, I took my medicine with me. Okay, so that is me, right? It's your turn. So that's the bad card. Right. I will head south and hang out with this Serpent Guardian. Yep. Okay. See how he's doing. Check in on him. I will then... Let's just see what the art, the Initiate finds me, eh? Oh, she finds Shriveling. Goes in my hand. That's pretty cool. It is. Okay. All right, Mike. Then I'm going to draw. That's what I was hoping for. And I'm going to... Okay. I've never understood the thing about it, though. You may play or commit events and skills beneath Diana as if they're in your hand, okay? Yeah, it means you now have... It just oh. doesn't do any extra damage, ever. It does not, but now you have a hand full of five uh, five cards sure. you can use to negate something. So if you draw an awful card, you can Dark Insight it. Right. No, you got to do this with Shrivelings and Blood Eclipse. There's no other way around it. You may play or commit. Well, those things, those don't go into my hand, do they? They don't. They're as if they were in my hand. That's right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mike, I've always read this as part of the fight action. Duh. Okay. 
I think this that's why they weapon. template it differently now. Yeah. Yep. No, you're right. Okay. Now I get why this is such an awesome <laughs> thing. <laughs> All right. I think that's me done. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. So, uh, monsters hunt. They go north. Mike, if you don't mind. I'm going to upkeep a medical student. That's good. And I'm going to add Doom 1. Then I'm going to draw a bat card. Emerging timeless. Discard the top five of your deck. See, this is a tough choice, have... right? Because you do have dark the the auto cancel. But you'll lose a will pip. So you're currently yeah. I also five. have like a board of protection in there too, right? So you do. Do I care about this one going? Uh, I only have two cards. Do you know what they are? They're not shriveling. Or do they match anything in your hand? Because you don't want fewer actions right now either. No, I don't I don't think so. Go for it. I mean I, I have seen them recently, right? Yeah. I just saw the whole Okay, let me look again. No. Well, vicious blow. Yeah. I would have known that. Alright, so But I'm not going to use Vicious Blow, am I? But you might use the Will Pip that's underneath you. And if you use... Oh, yeah, I see. It's not that. It's that you're going to lose an action. Right? So you'll get two oh. actions this turn. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. All right. So I will... I'm actually going to... Uh, Ward of Protection this. Okay. Okay, that's discarded. And I'm going to put that Horror on... The acolyte or the initiate, Mike. I need I need you to entertain the guests for a bit. Sure. Thank you. And I believe you don't do any of the fun stuff. You don't get to draw the card. Yeah, you don't get to draw the card. You don't get to draw the resource. Oh boy. This is uh, this is coming down to it. Oh, I can't believe I failed those tests. I should have been thinking. Should have been thinking that I was at a location that hampered my willpower. Oh well. Three locations, hey? Three locations is pretty good. And I think, let me see here. I believe three is actually the benchmark where it's Taka has confidence in you. That's pretty good. If anyone's ever done all six, let me know. <laughs> See, normally this is where I'd plan out my turn. Daniel. All right, so nine damage. Nine damage, hey? You can, you can take a hit from her. Oh, she doesn't actually do damage. She does. Unless I have a clue for her to eat. Oh, three horror. Okay. Yeah. She's um she's no chump. Okay. Alright, so <sighs> Okay, Mike. Yeah, come on. This is uh Here's the thing. I got the talisman of protection that I need. Yeah. Okay. Mike, I'm going in. Do it. For my first action, I'm hanging out with Padme. She comes to say hi to me. Hi. Okay. I have five will. 
You agree with that? That's a five on a five? No, because I get plus one. No, yeah, it's five on five. Uh, no, it's not going to be easy, Mike. Because she's got to, she's got to retaliate, right? Yes, <laughs> but this is how heroes are made. <laughs> so your plan is to draw four tokens in a row that are, yeah, that that's your plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, do you see any other option I have? I fight, hey. Can you evade her at least? No. You got no. no... I'm here for this. Man, maybe you need blur in your deck. Why? Well, this, this is not how I roll. It's not the first time we're like, if only you could evade this. Because then you wouldn't have to worry about the retaliate. You could just do your thing. Well, that's all cute and clever, but Mike, this is time for heroes. So I'm going to go up one on my first shrivel. Okay? Uh, you're up uh, you're up two. Oh no, you're up one. That doesn't give you a bonus? The only bonus is damage. Oh. Shriveling one is not awesome. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Okay, that's a minus four. Okay. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, I had Defiance in here again. Yeah, but Ugh. any one of those could have. Yep, any one of those. All right. So she attacks so you. She attacks me for three horror, right? Three horror. All right, so the Arcane Initiate takes one. I take one for Shriveling. And then I take two, more. two left over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will shrivel her again. I'll play a medical student. So I'm up one. You ready? Draw again. <laughs> uh, That's she, fine. She is, uh, well, reveal if you fail and there's a serpent enemy at your location, there is. It attacks you. Yeah, and it attacked me anyway for retaliate. So that... Oh, so she's hitting you twice. She doesn't really hit me twice, does she? Yup. The broken tablet. If you fail, and there's a servant enemy here, it attacks you. Oh, okay. Then failing. Alright, so my talisman of protection keeps me alive for one of them, and then I'm dead. Alright, that happened. So I will take mental trauma... Okay, I think I have a story to read you that is if no resolution was reached. Yeah, you do. When you next open your eyes, you're back in the bed of your hotel room. You raise your hand to shield your eyes from the sunlight that pierces through the bedroom's curtains. The glaring light is akin to a void, vice crushing your temples. Thin wisps of incense smoke fill the air. Rising to your feet requires a colossal effort. A small voice in the back of your mind tells you it was all a figment of your imagination. A nightmare fueled by weariness. It is the voice of self-preservation warning you to avoid the path of lunacy you've set upon. You ignore it. Rise to your feet, your legs trembling with terror and exhaustion. Quietly, you call out for Chitaka, wondering if she remembers what happened last night, or if she was even there to begin with. You find her slumped on the floor, her back against the door of the hotel room. She's unconscious and unresponsive, her face ashen. After several words and minutes attempting to wake her, you finally succeed. She sputters into consciousness, coughing violently and convulsing as though possessed. The cave. The maw in the sky, bathed in red, did you see it? Your head pulses with pain as you attempt to remember the events of last night, and you shake your head. It must be the path that leads to the nexus, she continues, gripping her head tightly with one hand. You attempt to help her to her feet, but she pushes you away. What was I thinking? The boundary is thinning. Any tension in it could have snapped. Her gaze shifts towards you. I should not have evolved you in this, but... Like it or not, you are involved. It is too late to go back now. I know where to find the Nexus, and you must journey with me. Dang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, Mike, 
If it was Act 2 and the game ended? It's not. Okay. It's Act 3. In your campaign log, please record that X paths are known to you. I believe that is 3. 3 is good. If the Harbinger of Lucid entered play during it? It did, but nothing changed. Okay. Record each vengeance point, which I believe is 1. 1. And then we learn we earn victory X, each card in the victory display, and one for each Tenectitlan location in the display. So that is four total. That puts me to six. I think I can upgrade some shriveling. And I think Diana can only go to level three. Oh yeah. So I think that's what we read, yeah. Uh that's what we read. So what did we actually we gained the trauma, which was not fun. Uh, we lost something with its talk up, but that's okay because not, that's not the path we're going down. We didn't right. lose anything with her. Hmm? It says nothing about its talk up. That's the problem. We were actually uh, we were we were on our way to something fun that uh, is no longer possible. We would have had Bummer. to survive this. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah well. Because we're not following the rest of her path, I don't think it has any bearing. All right. Well, we needed, you know, a good, a good ass kick in Mike. <laughs> Did we? Did we? Uh... Well, Mike, why don't you take us through Interlude Three? Oh, sure. Let's go Interlude Three. The jungle beckons. Once more, you venture south, leaving the safety of civilization behind. There's no time to waste. The path to the Nexus lies on familiar ground, not far from the previous expedition's trail. Using the Leatherbound Journal as your guide, you retrace the expedition's journey. Soon you are deep within the jungle, surrounded on all sides by hazards, some natural, others bizarre. Check your supplies. Any one investigator must cross off one gasoline. Otherwise, you're out of gas. Done. I'll do it. Awesome. All right. Uh, does anybody have a map? I have a map. Just kidding. I don't. You don't have a map. <laughs> but I feel like we used to. Did we ever? We have never had no. a map. That was a mistake. All right. Check your okay. supplies. As a group, we must cross off one provisions per investigator. I believe we have that. Okay. We have that. All right. And uh, check your supplies. Each investigator with medicine may cross it off to remove a poison weakness. I will use my medicine. All right. As you trudge through the lush jungle and pass a series of familiar overgrown temple ruins, your keen eye spots a pattern along the stone wall of the structure. Upon oh. closer examination, you find that vines and caked dirt has hidden an elaborate carving of hieroglyphs. Check your supplies. If any investigator has a canteen... Oh, I do, Mike. You take it out and splash water on the stone walls, washing off the dirt and making the stiff vines easier to manipulate. The pattern of glyphs is clearly visible now, and although its meaning is still a mystery, the repetition of six glyphs in particular hints at a specific instruction. Each investigator who oh. has a canteen, which is you, begins the next scenario with one clue. Well, I'm sure that'll be helpful. All right, and then we check the chaos bags. Are there two or more cultist tokens? No. Did we forge a bond with Ichitaka? No. Does she have confidence in us? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's that's it. We got through that fairly unscathed. All we earned was a clue. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Sadly, we were scathed in the actual thing itself. Yeah, that's a hard scenario. Oof. Yeah, so you get victory by, well, the way we did it, and by clearing any clues off locations in this agenda, which you can't do if that lady's uh, if ready. Padma's around, yeah. If she's ready. Yeah, I mean, once you went down, it was, I mean, it was a matter of time that I... Yeah. Go yeah. Went and traumatized myself with her. I mean, that was the only thing we could have done is rush me at her and hope. Pretty. Like if I had if I had accidentally succeeded in two shriveling, took her hit that I could have withstood during the enemy phase, 
then accidentally hit her with a shriveling again, and then blood eclipsed her for the win. Was the only way I was going to do. Then you should buy a lotto ticket at those odds. Exactly. I mean, exactly. You have been up what two with blood eclipse? With blood eclipse, yeah. Yikes. No, she's tough. Five fight is tough. But hey, it's what it is. I enjoyed this scenario. This was fun. It, it, yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's not my favorite of the series. I, uh, I sure get why back in the early days of its release, a lot of people were pretty salty on it. Like it's it's really punishing to find those locations. I like everything else about it. That first, yeah. first second act is just I, something else. I guess I don't. I don't understand why it is so punishing to find them because they punish you to even look for them. Yeah. Right? It's like a time waste to even look for them. Oftentimes you're hurting yourself to do the thing. It seems a little bit too much, but... And I think we got some of the good ones. That said, I mean, I survived finding all of them. It wasn't, I mean... And you got taken out from ill luck. Yeah, I was. As, the wrong is, as is often the scenario with you know this game. But if we had drawn the other ancient location, I would have been fine. It's because I had the willpower penalty. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. All that right. Was a bummer. Well, well, thanks everybody. There you have it. Thank you very much, and I guess we'll see you next week. Have a good week, folks. Ooh, good night. <laughs>